Hello, plant tribe, and how are you today? So, as promised, and I mentioned this in my last video that this box was on its way, I am so jazzed. I think I say that like every time I get boxed, but I mean, who doesn't get excited when they open plant mail? We can't go out and like actually plant shop right now, so I think we're like extra excited to get plant mail. Um, I think it means just that little bit more. So, I have a few words for some of you. Very serious. But first, welcome! If this is your first time here, welcome. It is so lovely to have you. My name is Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. And uh, if you're returning, like the gluttons for punishment that you are, thank you so much for coming back for more. It means the world to me. So, this box is from Crystal Star Nursery. Uh, if you've been following along, I think I've made mention of it quite a few times that this box was on the way. I'm really excited. There's six Hoyas in here. Um, some of them, I believe, mo or I think all of them are a little bit off the beaten path. I don't think these are like your regular mainstream Hoyas. I don't know Jack Dilly about any of them. So having said that, before I open the box, if you have any advice or care tips for these particular Hoyas as we're going through, please go ahead and throw them down in the comments. I would be eternally grateful and appreciative and I would thank you. Okay. Anywho, so if that sounds like something that you're interested in, go ahead and stick around and um, before I open the box though, after you come back, I've got some words for some of you. Yeah. Are y'all paying attention? You guys. That's right. You right there. I'm talking to you. So, I'm not sure how this happened. But it's really upsetting. There's a few of you who have this way of posting Hoyas that just make me want to drool and buy them all. You know who I'm talking to. So I blame this package on you because your girl went and spent like $160 on Hoyas. Who does that? I... I did. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, I think it was actually just a little bit over that. I digress. Um... They really are an addiction, and I think that we can kind of trick ourselves because they're smaller into it not being a big deal. Do you know what I'm saying? So I ordered four initially, and then I had sold a few plants, so I had some extra money. And before they shipped the four original ones that I ordered, I messaged her. I was like, hi, Crystal. <laughs> So I was just wondering if I could, you know, throw some extra ones in there, if that's okay. And of course they were great with it. And, um, yeah, so now there are six Hoyas in this box. Ha ha ha. So let's go ahead and get into this box, shall we? <laughs> okay, so as usual, I took all my information off so you guys can't stalk me. If you're going to stalk me, you can bring um, a case of beer and just throw it on my front porch. Um, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Oh, look at the paper. It's so cute. Okay. My two different invoices here because I'm crazy. Okay. I'll need this actually because a couple of these are a little more difficult to pronounce. And before I like sat down to film this I was actually like reading the names and I was like saying them out loud to myself to try to get them like don't get me wrong I'm still gonna <laughs> butcher the crap out of them anyways but um yeah so here we are oh these guys are in little boxes okay let's start with this one I really hope there's a name on the inside. I'm pretty sure they usually stick those little the little stick sticks with the name. The sticky sticks with the name. Okay. Plant number one. 
Oh, this is like Christmas. I have a, I have a problem. Ooh. Okay, so when I ordered all of these, I actually did my research. I went online and I, ch I checked all the uh, photos of like when the plant gets a little more mature, what the flowers look like. And so that's kind of what I based my order off of. So this one is the Hoya Map Mapajira. Am I saying that right? Uh, yellow. And I will post photo somewhere around here of what this looks like when it's a little bit more mature and what the flowers look like. And uh, I, they're so neat and I absolutely love them. I love how Hoyas get these little spots on them. It always weirds me out. And then you have to like look extra close just to make sure it's not anything weird. But that is the first one. So the Hoya Mapajira. Again, probably butchering that. Let me just hold this up, up straight so that you can read it. Can you see that? I don't even know. Okay. <clears throat> so that is Hoya number one. And is this like where there potentially could have been a peduncle? Oh, speaking of peduncles, I'm so excited because my Hoya Sunrise and my Hoya, I think it, I think it's my Hoya Matilde. Um, both have the startings of Peduncle, and I cannot tell you how excited I am about that. Because that will be my first ever Hoya Bloom, and I'll be throwing a party. Legit. Okay. In traditional Nikki fashion, by the way, that's, I love doing that, but it's such a pain to go and clean it up later. It's totally worth it. Um, okay. So one down, five to go. I'll try to make this quick. That's a lie. That's a lie. I'm going to try. I'm not going to succeed, but I'm going to try. So I'm still in my work clothes because I came right home and I was like, I gotta film this right now. I gotta open this box. Oh, wow. Ooh. Look at the leaves on that one. So this is the Hoya Mitrata. The leaves are huge. This is what it looks like mature and what the flowers look like. Look at the size of those leaves. Oh. Oh, wow. So cool. I love those big, interesting leafed Hoyas. Um, most of the ones I've, that I picked up do have neat leaves. It's either really cool leaves or like really cool flowers. Um, this one, I definitely, definitely am digging the leaves on this. Okay, again, so let me hold that little here. Hoya. Mitrata. Oh. There you go. Wow. I'm so excited. That guy probably can't even stand up. Nope. He's a little top heavy. Okay. So that's number two. Here's number three. Hold on. I gotta wet my whistle. When you're still going to work in a pandemic and you get home from work, especially when there's nobody here when you get here, I'm sorry, but I need a cold beverage. It's really stressful putting your safety and your well-being in the hands of others and just praying to God that all of the paperwork that comes back during the day and all the people that stop by your desk um, have the same hygienic values as you. Um, so yeah, that's a little rough. So by the time I get home, I'm just like, oh, and I'm in my space and I know my space is clean. Anyway, so for those of you who are still working, I hope you feel me. Um, also for those of you who are not working right now, my heart actually goes out to you so much. Um, I think on both sides of the fence, it's a little stressful. It's definitely stressful not having the money coming in. Fortunately, most of our governments have... Uh, done amazing things to help us, but um, anyway, 
It's still stressful, no matter what side of the fence you're on. Ooh, this one's tall. Hello, gorgeous. Hey, hold on. It's, it's taped to the... <laughs> hmm. Technical difficulties. There we go. Okay. Oh. Ooh. She's pretty. So this is the Hoya Lobii Black. So not only are the leaves really cool, but look at look at the flowers. Look at these like how cool is that? So I'm definitely gonna freak out the first time that this thing blooms because that is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. That's awesome. Oh, so many new Hoya berries. Okay, three down. I love Crystal Star. They're so awesome. And I love talking to Crystal. She's like the sweetest thing ever. <clears throat> I'm really glad that I found them because they have just some really cool plants like between their Hoyas and um, they specialize in orchids that's kind of where they initially started and I have like a whole history um, my very first order the Hoya order that I did from them uh, last year I posted um, I just kind of explained the background of their business and how they got started and that kind of thing and it's the cutest story it's a little husband and wife that had this orchid business and then they um uh, they kind of started expanding into you know hoyas and cacti and succulents and uh, they also now do tropicals like more of the rare stuff um philodendrons and uh, anthuriums and so forth um but they're just like i'm gonna move this before i knock it off um they're just awesome awesome people and uh, I've met them in person, and they're just as awesome in person. Oh my. That is so pretty. <gasps> so this is the Hoya Isensis. Oh wow. Wow. Okay, so look at this plant. Look at the margins on the leaves. Like, that's not a shadow. Like, that is... And they are tick by. Wow. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh. I'm gonna get all sappy. That's gorgeous. Sorry, I'm just taking a moment. Wow. Wow. Okay, one more shot. One more shot, because totally worth it. <laughs> So pretty. I just don't want it to fall over. I'm scared. Okay, that was four down. Two to go. All right. Does your hair ever get stuck in your lip chap? Your lip. Sorry, I call it lip chap. Oh, you guys are gonna make fun of me about that. I get made fun about that all the time. I've always called it lip chap instead of chapstick. And I know that it makes no sense. I am painfully aware that it makes no sense. But that's what I call it. <laughs> Anywho, my hair gets stuck in it and it drives me nuts. Okay, is this guy open all the way? I don't even remember what else I wanted from just like these are all looking so good. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Look at the leaves! Oh, goodness. Okay, so this one is the, this is hard to say, Hoya Benja, no, Benjanet. I'm just going to hold it up. I suck at pronouncing these, really. Can you see that? Hold on. Does that help at all? Okay. You know what the funny part is? I said this no problem as I, like before I sat down to film. Benjitensis. 
and whatever. It's pretty. Look at the size of these leaves. Look at that. Can you see that? Wow. That's beautiful. You can tell it got a little, it has a little sun stress there on the back. I love that about Hoyas. That's so cool. That is gorgeous. <sighs> Hoyas are a serious problem. <laughs> okay, and last but not least, I think. Oh, they put these packs in there and everything. Aww. Keep them all toasty. Cause you know, Canada, still not warm in here. Went to work this morning, it was still minus one. Alright. Oh, I think this one's the Hoya Kadada Big Green Leaf, I think it's called. So cool. The concentration tongue. Do you have that? Oh, come on. Okay, I think we got it. This was one of the first ones that was in my cart. Oh my God! <laughs> Boy, are they some big green leaves. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, I got it right. Hoya Kadada big green leaves. Wow. They weren't kidding. That is beautiful. And they're like, on the edges of the leaves are like, almost like little, it's like razor blady. Or like a saw. Wow. And this leaf kind of almost has like an iridescence. If you like shift it back and forth, it kind of like... Wow. Okay, sorry, I'll show you. <laughs> I just wanted to take a look. Amazing. Oh. I am so happy with all of these. Let me see if I can hold them all up. Okay, so we have our Hoya Benji Dentensis. <laughs> what? We have our Hoya Kadata Big Green Leaf. We have our Hoya Isensis, which I almost didn't get. Oh my gosh, can you imagine? I'm not gonna be able to hold all these. Okay. We have the Hoya Lobii Black. Such a stupid idea. We have the Hoya Mepergira yellow. And we have the Hoya Matatra Matrata. Okay, this this Hold on. Oh gosh. Oh, it seemed like such a good idea at the time. Okay. Anyways, that is so awesome. I love all of these. I am so excited to see them grow. Um, I am really enjoying all of my Hoyas right now. Um, most of them are growing like crazy. Uh, I think all with the exception of like one or two. Most of them are growing like mad right now. And so um, I don't think these will be any exception. So. I will go ahead and get these potted and uh, I will come back and show you what those look like. Um, but yeah, so as I'm filming this, I think before I hopped on here, I needed like five more subscribers to hit 3000 and I, I still, like I, I don't, like my brain isn't processing that. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm having a difficult time with that. Um, so I am still uh, open to ideas of what you guys would like to see for 3K. Again, I don't necessarily think that a giveaway is probably a good idea at this particular point. Um, but if you have any other ideas, please go ahead and let me know and um, throw them down in the comments and uh, I'll see what I can get done for you. Okay, so uh, stick around after I uh, do my salut. I will go ahead and put uh, the picture of the little bit of clippage in here of what these guys all look like in their pots. 
Also, don't forget that um, probably this weekend, so it will probably post next week, I'll be doing a complete Hoya collection video. So you will get to see all of my Hoyas from A to Z. All right. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. I love you all to Bitty Bits. I will see you in the next one. Mwah.